With the game just a month away from release, EA recently gave us a chance to sit down and play through select parts of Dragon Age 2's first act. This fantasy RPG connects with the events of the original Dragon Age, following a heroic member of the Hawk family. You can no longer choose from different fantasy races, but in typical Bioware fashion, you can choose the gender and customize the features of your human character. You begin on the run, fleeing the Darkspawn invasion of Lothering, with your family hoping to find safe haven in Kirkwall. The story follows your character's growth from despised refugee to controversial leader. Played in multiple acts spanning a period of ten years, your tale is recounted by your dwarven companion, Varric. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? As in the previous game, you'll step into the combat role of a warrior mage or rogue. While many considered magic users a dominant force in the original game, Bioware intends to give the warrior and rogue interesting abilities that make them equally appealing. Rogues are far more agile, for instance, with abilities that allow them to quickly flank and backstab enemies or dodge out of harm's way. Within your chosen class, weapon choices can make drastic gameplay differences, as rogues can also equip a bow to strike from a distance with explosive projectiles. Talents and specializations look to branch out beyond the original game, with webs of abilities giving you more choices and freedom to define your playstyle. Each of your party members has unique abilities that differentiate them from their basic class, as well as their own beliefs and personalities. If you drive your party members towards friendship or rivalry, your consistency as a leader will be rewarded with passive abilities for those characters. When compared to its predecessor, combat in Dragon Age 2 is more immediate and action-based. Boss battles in particular require you to watch enemy movements closely. You might dodge a charge as an ogre rears back in preparation, or take cover behind pillars to avoid a rock wraith's devastating blasts. Abilities are mapped to the face buttons on consoles, and toggling between options using the right trigger gives you access to six assignable ability slots. A quick tap of the button will also let you cycle through your party to take direct control of your companions. On lower difficulty settings, players can take a more real-time brawler approach, but if you're looking to engage on a more challenging level, you'll need to pause and think strategically before directing the actions of your party. Enough! You With numerous changes transforming the identity of the fledgling series, we're curious and excited to see what this promising game will ultimately become. Dragon Age 2 releases on PC, Xbox 360, and PS3 on March 8th. We'll soon be bringing you our full review of Bioware's latest fantasy endeavor.